Hey, it's me, Evil Teuton. You know what this is? Probably can guess. Six Days of Sacrifice. No, where have I read that kind of title before? Well, I'll tell you, it's from Five Days of Strangers, Seven Days of Skeptic, and Trilby's Notes, which kind of didn't fit. Trilby's Notes uh, was, you know, uh, a different game for many, many reasons. First of all, it had a text parser interface. It wasn't named after the number and days format, and uh, I couldn't run it in full screen. So Trilby's Notes is actually the one that required the most voice acting because it had the most text to read out. This game won't have that much. But I had to run it in a tiny, tiny window. <laughs> but this one I can run it full screen again, so let's jump in. Yesterday I saw the body of the bridge keeper engulfed in flame and I saw the bridge created by one third. Tomorrow I saw the soul of the bridge keeper reduced to ash and I saw the bridge created by two thirds. Today the mind of the bridge keeper shall meet with its destiny and I shall see the bridge extend between the realms. And the many children of the king shall leap and dance and sing praise in his name, for great is his wisdom and his benevolence. The Book of the Bridge. And here we are. Uh, the interface from Seven Days is back. Slightly different symbols, but same principle. Uh, so yeah, here we are. Six Days of Sacrifice. <laughs> um, I told you in the previous games that you're going to see a lot of familiar faces in this one, but you know what? I lied. There is not a single character in this game that you will recognize. Uh, there's absolutely nothing that will, uh, you know, you, you won't recognize any names, any faces, any that references. There will be nothing in this game that uh, will sound familiar to you if you watch the other games. Uh, so let's take a pamphlet. Sorry, guys, but that's there's nothing in this. There, nothing, nothing. Some kind of pamphlet on ophthalmology. That's the religion whose headquarters I'm currently standing in. So this guy, he's not Trilby, as you can see. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to give him the tough voice. Uh, he doesn't look that tough. No offense, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's a cool guy. But he's certainly not a Trilby. It's the receptionist, receptionist's terminal, probably used to check on appointments and communicate with other parts of the building. He should sound a little bit more confused and inquisitive, so... So yeah, let's do that. I'll add it to my journal. Okay, so I have a journal in this game, uh, yeah. Life becoming a struggle? Need a guiding hand? Want to be part of the world's fastest growing family? Optimology is a religion catered for you, taking the best parts of all previous religions to make a great new way of thinking. Join Optimology today. A are you Mr. Garriott? Get out of my way, you fool! Mr. Garriott, I'm from the county council. What? My name's The Cape. I phoned you a week ago about running an inspection of your facilities. Oh yes, I remember. 
The council has been informed that you may be extending your premises without planning permission. I just need to take a look around to make sure you aren't. Is it... is it completely necessary? It's just a precaution, entirely routine. Could you come back another time? Well, actually, no. I have to get this done before the end of the week, and this is my only free time slot. I see. Is there a problem? No, not at all. Well, why don't I... take you up in the elevator and we can tour the building? I'd be obliged. Obliged? And that's it. Game's over. So I hope you enjoyed the intriguing storyline of six days. Because, um... Oh, 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 day one. I'm sorry. Seems like there's more. July 24th, you guys. I told you I have no idea who he is. And why should you care? I'm a doctor, for God's sake. It seems terribly convenient. You don't think if he was our agent we would find a way to get him down here without smashing him to pieces? A broken neck is not something I call convenient. Don't think me a fool. He arrives now of all times and you insist it's a coincidence. What else could it be? Uh, he's awake. Can you hear me? Do you know your name? Can you tell me your name? The ca the Cape. Theodore the Cape. My name's Samantha Harty. Ah, uh, say no more, say no more, nudge nudge. Wink wink. How much do you remember? Stop talking to him. I don't want either of you saying another word until my employer gets here. This man is seriously injured. He has to be returned to the surface and taken to a properly equipped hospital. I will not tell you again. No one leaves, no one breathes a word until my employer tells me what is to be done. God damn you. Not a word. Alright, you guys, I lied to you again. I'm, ugh, I'm the worst. Because if you paid attention, then this lady, Samantha, Samantha Harty, uh, she has the exact same character sprite that Philip Harty had in Five Days. And there's another guy from Five Days, even though he's wearing his Trilby's Notes outfit, and it is Guard. It's Mr. Guard. And uh, I sure you remember Mr. Guard. He was the protagonist of, uh, of previous games. Like in Guard's Notes and Five Days of Guard. And okay, this joke's over. Let's, let's, <laughs> it's good. You'll find out about what's going on here. She's wearing the spectacles and lab coat that denotes a scientific choice of career. And that's why I didn't give him the tough voice, because uh, first of all, he's a bureaucrat, and also he's gravely injured now, and also the deep voice is in this game. So, I got you. I got you. You didn't trust me, but you should, because I always know what I'm doing. But you didn't trust me. You didn't, you know, that makes me so mad. I'm gonna turn this car around. Okay. Samantha looks at me questioningly. Questioningly. Okay, how do we do this? There is a way to... Uh, because we can't talk. Um, he's serious about this. And that's why we should... Samantha shrugs and shakes her head, indicating she doesn't think she can reason with or defeat the man. She points at me, then mimes cutting her throat meaningfully. <laughs> nice. Um... She shrugs. Console. She shakes her head and mouths the word password. Well, that's inconvenient. Samantha shrugs. Samantha shrugs. <laughs> she does that a lot. She has no idea how to activate it. Um. Okay. So I guess... Converse with ourselves, it won't reply. Let's talk to the guard. Uh, uh, what's the matter now? His condition may still be degrading. 
The facilities here are very understocked. Move aside. I'm going to check him. And... Pickety pock. I take the slip of paper from his pocket while he leans over. He doesn't seem to notice. I don't see any problems. Yeah, I don't think you're a doctor, Mr. Gart. But I don't know. I mean, I'm Theodore the Cape. How would I know who you are? <laughs> so let's... Uh... Oh, I can't even, so I just have to give her the paper. I pam the note to Samantha. She glances at it, then nods and under in understanding and pockets it. Okay. And now we have to... That would violate her personal space somewhat. Uh, I meant converse. Okay, and now the console. Oh, we have to... Okay. Privacy screen, privacy screen, then at the north. Yeah, okay. That won't help you. I can see you, but there's only one way out of here, out of there. Yep. Um. North wall. I remember you. Don't look. But what's going on? Don't look. Yep, and that's it, so I hoped you... Ah, it still goes on, this game. Looks like we're loose again. Can you walk? Just about. It hurts a lot. How much do you remember? Look, I'm just a council inspector. I was sent here to run an inspection on the building. Some lunatic upstairs pushed me down the elevator shaft, then I woke up. I wake up here. Could you please explain to me what the hell is going on? You fell to the very bottom of the shaft. You are now within an underground laboratory complex. What do the ophthalmologists need it for? Ophthalmology is a front, a money-making crowd-pleasing facade to disguise the true organization. Which is a cult. They call themselves the Order of Blessed Agonies. Bunch of masochistic freaks who worship some mad death god. Okay, so why do they have a laboratory complex? Do you mind if I ask? Why were you sent to inspect the building? The police told us they were they received the tip that the Optimo, I mean the cultists were building something. Since they didn't have planning permission, I had to see if there was any truth to it. It seems there was. This complex isn't documented in any of our records of the site. And that's what upsets him. <laughs> I think you'd better talk to Janine. I have a feeling you're the person she's been waiting for. Who? The other prisoner. She and I were being held captive down here by one of the cultists. You mean the man who was guarding us? Where did you go anyway? The man in the head was just a mercenary, I think, hired to guard the place. Our captor is still around somewhere. Janine and I only just escaped from our cell this morning. We were looking for a way out when you arrived. I dragged you in here and the, I dragged you in here and the guard found me. We've got to call the police. No one can do and no one what no can do uh <laughs> something's blocking our communications. But with the three of us against one man we should be able to negotiate our way out. Janine's supposed to be finding us some weapons. Find her. I apologize for placing a burden on you in your current state, but I have to urgent matters to see to. Dr. Harty, what happened to the guard? What was behind the door? Why didn't you let me see? Find Janine. Once the cultist is our hostage, I will have time to answer all of your questions. So, are you excited? Because I'm excited. Because there's a lot going to happen in this game. Uh, this, you know, these are the first 15 minutes you should 
have a good idea of what you're going to see, so there's Trilby, I mean now he's gone, ugh, and he's never going to come back you guys, what a shame. We just saw a man who looked like Trilby, but within the first 15 minutes he's out again. Shame, shame, shame. Of course you saw the tall man, and if you're wondering, yes I know that Dr. Samantha Harty doesn't sound like a woman, it's not a woman's voice, but she has to sound like Philip from Five Days, because that's what I decided. <laughs> there will be no questioning of my methods in my let's play. But just so you guys know, there's, there's, you know, I'm not just doing this randomly. I, uh, I thought about it as always. The one thing I didn't think about, however, these are my glasses. They must have been left here when I was pulled out of the elevator shaft. Oh, that's a good voice. It sounds a little bit too nerdy, but, but, it should do it. Oh, there's Samantha. Hi. <laughs> One of the lenses is smashed, the other is curved out of shape. I take the intact one and discard the rest. Oh, but she can't... I have to be careful that it doesn't sound like Philip too much. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Just gonna keep walking. Like the music? Cause I like it. So anyway, uh, we gotta find Janine and problem is I don't really have a voice for Janine. What am I gonna do? I don't want to be caught in a corner and make one up on the spot, so uh, let's walk around and explore the rooms. Um, you know, until I can come up with a voice. <laughs> and written memo, let's look at that. I'll add it to my journal. Canning. Ensure that the prisoners remain sealed in the holding cell for at least six days. After this, it will no longer matter. Do not fail, Canning. This is your chance to redeem yourself for the crime of allowing the... Or... <laughs> or Orzichowski woman to explore the complex unsupervised. Okay, so the, the keen um, perceptionist uh, will already have percepted that we have another... So, uh, an, an, you know, an isolated building complex. Uh, we have a holding cell. Uh, you know, we have that it's it's you know all the all the ingredients for for the X days experience are here. X days. Uh all the ingredients are here. Uh there's there's you know there's even a hearty one of the hearty clan is down here, so so I guess we're gonna have a good time. And uh I just I just gotta figure out a voice for Janine and then we can progress. Also, look at this. Another big door, and there's Janine. <laughs> that was her, actually. Uh, another big hub door. Um, I'm gonna explain the layout to you later. It's not important for now. Um, and Janine is probably in here. I don't have a voice for her. What am I gonna do? Ah, damn it. I, mm. Who are you? My name's The Cape. Are you Janine? You're not one of the cultists? No. One of them apparently dropped me down an elevator shaft. Dr. Harty told me to find you. So you met Sam already? We were being held captive, her and me, for the last week or so. We were only able to get out of the cell this morning. She mentioned that. She said you would have found some weapons. Oh, sure. Here. You came from outside? Are they sending someone to help us? I wouldn't know. But they must have gotten my message. We have to take these guns to Dr. Hardy. Maybe then we can get out of here. I wait here. Why? Please, just... Don't make me go out there. I couldn't face seeing... Him again. Ooh, the cultist. No. Anyway, you'd better get going. Okay. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. What? <laughs> okay, so um, actually Janine's voice uh, might just work out fine for her character uh, and you're gonna see why. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil anything. So this is it. First episode, uh, we're gonna give Samantha some guns. Giggity. And then I'll see you guys in the next episode, I hope you're excited because I am. A lot is gonna. Ha uh, there's a lot that's gonna happen. So stay tuned.